Hi everybody, uh, back again for another quick tutorial uh, on the iPad uh, after iOS 6.0 update. Some of you may be lamenting the fact that you can no longer get YouTube as an embedded app within the iOS. Now YouTube has released a, an app for iPhone that is compatible with iPad, but as you can see from this video, it's not only zoomed out, but when you zoom in, uh, the quality level is lost and then it's also rotate. It doesn't auto rotate. So a lot of people are wondering how do you get YouTube back onto your iPad. There's two ways you can do it. You can use the iPhone app which is less than good. My recommendation is actually make a web shortcut using Safari to YouTube's mobile website which is actually very good and presents very well on the iPad. So to do that go ahead and launch Safari and visit youtube.com and what you'll see in the address bar is that YouTube will translate that youtube.com address into the mobile version. What's nice about the mobile version is not only does it present correctly in horizontal and vertical uh, rotation on the iPad but it also contains this little grid icon over here in the upper right hand corner that when you tap it will bring up the list of your favorite uh, buttons from the previous iOS native application. So you can see my videos or history or playlists or certainly go back home. You can also sign in to their mobile website that way. So back on the home page I would make a shortcut to m.youtube.com and the easiest way to do that in Safari is to go to the just to the left of the web address and tap that button to add to home screen. So right in the dead center you'll see there a link to say add to home screen and youtube.com which has an ICO file uh, associated with its web address will provide you with a nice looking little icon so you tap that uh, you'll give the icon a name like YouTube tap add and then it will add that to your screen now you can barely tell the difference between those two icons on my uh, um, iPad desktop the left one is the link to the mobile uh, site or the uh, mobile app for iPhone and the right hand side is linked to the mobile website so you be the judge which one looks better on your iPad I would suggest the latter so I hope that helps uh, feed your YouTube addiction I'm gonna go ahead and remove the iPhone app from my iPad and stick with a link to the mobile website hope that helps enjoy your YouTube just so you know YouTube is in the works for an iPad app that should be released in the next couple of months in the meantime, hope this method helps.